Hey, how's it going everyone? This is John at The Drone Life, and I wanted to make a quick video to talk about uh, shading on solar panels. So this is a really common issue that we see um, on our solar farms that we inspect with our uh, thermal drones, as well as on uh, rooftop PV systems uh, in areas where there's lots of uh, tree foliage. Basically nearby objects, usually trees, are casting shade over a significant number of the modules throughout the system and especially during uh, the morning and then around sunset. And taking a look at the site, we can see how the dark blue and the, and the black spots um, are the cold areas. And uh, these little uh, shots right in the middle here uh, of like these orange areas, uh, that really is showing the gaps in the trees. So where the, the sunlight is shining through. And going up here at a different section of the farm, we can see how mostly all of these rows are completely shaded right now uh, because of the trees going up here. Uh, this is definitely a big issue and again we can see how these uh, panels over here, the orange ones, those ones are actually st uh, starting to get the sunlight now, uh, but all of the rest of these are really limited in how much sunlight is coming through because of those trees. And this can be a really big problem, so let me explain why. So the first thing is that shaded cells don't nearly produce as much energy and can significantly affect the revenue um, of the site if this is unresolved. Numbers will vary depending on the model of the panel as well as exactly how much shade it's facing, but the general rule is that the shade on the panel will produce about half as much energy as they would with direct sunlight. The next problem is possible damage on older solar panels with uh, shaded cells. So when the current is actually flowing through the low, low voltage uh, shaded cells, this can cause the, a lot of the cells to heat up and have severe power loss. And then these cells can actually become consumers of electricity instead of producers because of the heat dissipation. This can definitely be a serious issue over time and sometimes cause a premature failure of the module. However, most of the modules today have something called an internal bypass diode, uh, which is used to reduce uh, this power loss due to shading. Panels that are equipped with these devices experience fewer negative effects and allow the electricity to flow around um, any of the solar cells that are currently in the shade. So the panels will still definitely be less efficient, but it's actually much better than reducing the overall production, uh, that, which happens on modules that do not have bypass diodes. And over here, we actually have an example a lot of these cells heating up because of the shade that's being cast onto the modules. And what's really one of the great parts of implementing these thermal drones is how easily they can photograph large farms that have these shading issues. So typically the drone would actually be flown throughout the day and track exactly where the shading is actually occurring on the solar farm. And so it's going to be able to locate areas of interest uh, that really uh, have severe issues as well as exactly what time of day um, is the most shading occurring. And a pretty neat feature that actually exists on the, the thermal camera that we're using right now is it has two cameras on it. So you have the thermal and you have the visible, um, sometimes called to as the RGB or just a regular camera. So uh, during flight or, or even in the post-processing on the computer, you can easily switch between the two since they record at the same exact time. So then you can easily uh, get a be better understanding of the site and the, um, the shading issues. But of course, this can't always be fixed, uh, especially it might not be cost effective to say cut down the trees uh, or you might, might not even be allowed to if it's not your land. But it does definitely provide value during the planning and design phases of a, say a new solar farm so that, so that the engineers um, have a better understanding of how shade uh, will impact uh, their future designs. So that pretty much covers it for this video about the effects of shading on PV systems as well as how uh, thermal drone cameras are being used for locating and determining the severity of these issues. As always, if you have any questions or would like us to come out and inspect one of your sites, uh, you can reach us on our website link, which would be down below in the description. But anyways, uh, like the video, subscribe, and thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon.